nasty snapping turtle. Got him? Ah! Yeah! Got one! On this episode of Coyote's Backyard, we will be heading out to explore a place that I consider my childhood backyard, the Holden Arboretum. Established in 1931, this wild place spans 3,600 acres in northeastern Ohio and is home to a wide variety of plants and animals. When I was a kid, I spent my summer searching this location for frogs, snakes, and turtles. So today I will be taking a trip down memory lane as I lead members of the coyote pack around the grounds to search for wildlife. So if I put up these ears, if I get to see new guys like this, it means I've seen something everybody would be this? super. Oh, I guess that works. Do you want to do that? Oh, that kind of looks a little coyote. bit more I like, like that. Uh, <sighs> That's so smart. What's your name? Rigsby. Rigsby? Mm -hmm. Rigsby decided that this is going to be uh -huh. the coyote symbol. I like it. Here, give me like a, a coyote. Boop. Okay, so this will be the coyote symbol today, which means be quiet, something's been seen. And that's be quiet and like everybody be so quiet. Let's see if we can catch animals. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's sneak up. You guys got your maps? Yeah. Coyote, what are we doing? I don't want to hold my map anymore. All right, so right now we are sneaking up on the Lotus Pond, which is our first spot where we're going to actually start looking for animals. Everybody's excited. Now there are snapping turtles, snakes, and frogs that live here. It's just a matter of can we catch one. bring him back here into the shade a little bit. Nice. The good news is that we have caught our first animal. Yeah. But he's just a little tiny frog, right? We want to see a really big bullfrog, That's don't we? That's the bad news. What, that it's a little tiny one? Well, all frogs are pretty much created equal, and he is pretty cute, isn't he? Yeah. So, you guys know what kind of frog this is? Bullfrog! A bullfrog, that's right. That's a good little one. It's nice to see these little tiny frogs like this because it means the ecosystem is incredibly healthy and the tadpoles are turning into frogs. Now, a frog of this size, it's got a lot of predators out there. You guys know what would eat a frog like this? Snapping turtle. Snapping turtle, not a coyote, right? <laughs> a snake. A snake could eat a frog like this, yep. And he's probably thinking to himself right now, uh-oh, look at all these coyote pack members. Is anybody, you wouldn't eat this frog, would you? You want to pat him? Just real gently on his back right there? I want to no? pet him. I want to pet him. I want to pet him. Okay, stay back. back. Now frogs are totally safe to catch and pet. All right, well hopefully we'll catch a bigger one, but this is a good start. So far we are one for one. Watch how he swims off. You guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Bye, buddy. Boop. Hey, there he is. Did Bye, he swim down and hide in the leaves? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw him. All right. Well, we caught a frog. Should we go back Let's to Let's call it a day. Well, this is the part where somebody should give you a high five. Oh, yeah, who wants a high five? High five. Boom, 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 boom. High fives all the way high around. High fives. High fives, high fives. All right, let's go find something a little crazy. you stand up in the right place at the right time. That's a pretty good sized Midland painted turtle right there. And this time of day, the turtles are just basking up on top of these weed beds absorbing light. And I see the back of the carapace here. All of that space right there is kind of like a solar panel, right? They're relying on the sun to heat them up so that they can go out and hunt. Now, this turtle does have some algae on its shell. Oftentimes you don't see painted turtles with algae on the shells because they spend so much time basking in the sun. The sun kills the algae and then their shell is usually very smooth. But you, for some reason, because you probably live in this real mucky area, have gotten a lot of algae on you. What do you guys want to name this one? I know. What? Picasso, because he's a painted. 
Oh, okay, you guys want to go with Picasso? Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, you got to give one to Mario, otherwise he'll cry. <laughs> That's the only one, Mario. All right, you guys ready to let Picasso go? Yeah. All right, Mark, you got your shots? I did. All right. I'm going to just put Picasso out here in the... I want to get that snapping turtle. Picasso. 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 I see a snapping turtle. Oh, you sure certainly do. Okay. It's 100% a snapping turtle oh, yeah. on the far side of the pond. You guys, you guys can't see it from here. It's I by those, it. by those green plants, man. Catchable? Yeah, definitely is. It's faced, it's faced in the wrong direction. I mean, there's no way to make a play on it when it's up like that. So we're gonna ignore it for the moment, but we are gonna go around this side. The good thing about where it's positioned is we're not gonna disturb it on that side and there's no people walking over there. So. Right here by these rocks, there are a lot of water snakes. So that's gonna be our immediate target. Now, good news is that I see a snapping turtle. There's potential for snapping turtles all throughout this pond. There's about four of them that live in here. The good news is that we see one, right? You do not see a snapping turtle. I do see a snapping turtle. 100% see a snapping turtle. What I'm gonna do is have you guys wait right here. Mario's gonna go with me, and I'm gonna sneak up right by these rocks here and see if I can get us a water snake. That's a turkey vulture. Everybody stay back, everybody stay back. Ah, he's like me! Oh, yes he did. everybody, this, this is dangerous, so we're not gonna pet this one. It's very feisty. As you can see, I'm already bleeding. That is a northern water snake. You don't normally want to jump on rocks to catch snakes, but today, we definitely need to see the animals, right? And that didn't take me long, did it? Now let me teach you guys a little something about water snakes. They bite, right? Now notice the pattern of this snake. The pattern is very distinct. You see that? See that speckle patterning? That kind of looks like a water moccasin, kind of looks like a copperhead. People oftentimes misidentify the northern water snake for one of those venomous species. However, this is non-venomous, but they do bite. Now, why am I bleeding as much as I am? It's not because they have big teeth, it's because they have an anticoagulant in their saliva. Has anybody ever heard that term? Yeah. Anticoagulant? Yeah. Basically, it causes you to bleed a lot and the blood doesn't clot, right? So it doesn't kind of stop bleeding. So this is just gonna keep dripping. See that, Mark? Yeah, yeah. and you know what else he's doing? Oof. No, no biting, no biting. He's also musky. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, he tried to get you there. Oh, close to the camera. All right, you guys ready to put the snake back? Oh, he's trying to get my nose. You guys ready to get the snake back out in the wild? Yeah. yeah he is bitey. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let him go right back where he came from. All right, I'm gonna set him down. Bye, buddy. All right, so Coyote, what are we doing? All right, I'm scanning this edge for snapping turtles. It's dark and shady right here, so it's really tough to see into the water. These geese are moving out, which is good. It means it won't scare the snapping turtle once we get over there. If the geese are acting natural, it means that the environment is natural and that hopefully we can land a dragon. All right, everybody okay. hang out here in the shade. Where is he? Okay, the snapping turtle's off this edge here. I think he went deeper but I'm gonna sneak up on this edge just to see if I see something. I'm gonna move all along the edge of this, so you guys stay here with Mark. Okay, or Mark, you coming with me? I'm coming with you. Okay, Mark's coming with me. Everybody stay right here. Noseless right there. Man, he almost slipped out of my hands. He is so slimy. Ah. Woo! Now, before anybody gets any closer, I'm gonna sit down for a second. There we got one, right? Let's not get bitten by it, especially me. 
Now, this is noseless. I don't know if you can see from there, but he doesn't have a nose. Something happened to him early on in life, probably fighting with another turtle. But as you can see, they're very, very snappy, right? So you see where Mark is? You guys can get to about where Mark is. Don't anybody get any closer because the turtle's head is facing that direction. Okay, right there. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Now, we can pet the snappy turtle at the very end. I will turn it backwards and one at a time, we can come up and pet its tail, okay? Now, noseless is one of the most consistent common snapping turtles that I have caught here at the Holden Arboretum. Always seems to be hunting around the edges of Heath Pond, and I still think you're incredibly handsome even though you don't have a nose because it makes you very, very unique looking. It makes you very easy to identify. Now, at, can we, just for like two seconds, can we be calm? Everybody's here, they wanna see you. You know we go through this once a year. Once a year. See, he's smiling for you guys, but he would really like to bite me. So this is a common snapping turtle of about average size, right? For me to catch a turtle of this size, I'm really excited about it, right? But what would be even more exciting is a super enormous turtle. But this looks pretty big to you guys, right? Yeah. That's a pretty big turtle. Now, can we think of any predators for a snapping turtle of this size? What would eat a turtle of this size? Uh, what do you think? Maybe an alligator? Oh, come on. Maybe, but there's no alligator snapping turtles around here. The honest answer is only humans. Did you guys know that people make turtle soup sometimes? Yeah. Wow. Uh, no turtle soup for you. No soup for you, buddy. Don't worry about it. You're totally good. A turtle of this size really doesn't have any predators. Now, when they're smaller, baby common snapping turtles are just a little bit bigger than that. So a turtle of that size could be eaten by a bird or a larger turtle or a snake or even like a largemouth bass. You guys know what bass are, right? Yeah. All right, Mark, can you kind of see his tail from there? Yep. All right, let me kind of turn like that. You guys see that dragon looking tail? Yeah. I have to keep a good eye on the front end. Now one thing that I love about these turtles' tails is I'm gonna kinda really delicately, okay, no nose, noseless. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna let go with that hand. Don't you try to spin and bite me. We're gonna look at your tail. Check out those ridges. These are osteoderms, which are pieces of bone covered in skin, scale, and at this point, some really gnarly looking algae. Look at that, looks just like the tail of a dragon. Let's look at the plastron of the snapping turtle, right? We're bringing him up. Take a good look at that, guys. Okay, there we go. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, there we go. All right, you see that? Now, the plastron of the common snapping turtle is much smaller than other turtle species, and that's why they have evolved to have this very gnarled skin, sharp claws, and that powerful bite. Woo! All right, hold on one second, guys. Let's get a little wrap up here, and then everybody can pet Noseless's tail. How's that sound? Well, I would definitely say that that was one epic adventure. We caught all sorts of creatures, and in the end, landed one enormous common snapping turtle. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. You guys ready to let this turtle go? Yeah! All right. Say thanks, Noseless. Thank you. Thanks, Noseless. Bye bye, Noseless. Bye, Noseless. Woo! Nice. All right. The Holden Arboretum is a location that is truly near and dear to my heart, and I visit every chance that I get. Their continued preservation of the natural world has defined them as one of the top locations in the United States to enjoy both plants and native animals. For me, being given the opportunity to lead members of the Coyote Pack around Holden Arboretum was like being a kid again. And I hope moving into the future that these young adventurers and animal enthusiasts will help carry on my love and excitement for this very special place. If you thought this episode of Coyote's Backyard was packed full of exciting animals, make sure to go back and check out the time we made a Tide Pool Aquarium. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. Get him in there, yes! Yeah! We have caught an octopus!